Well, hello everybody. How's it going? Hey, poopers. He was just outside and he did poopies outside. Yeah, that was a good boy. You did your poopies outside. I saw you. <laughs> it was funny. He had all this weight on his front feet and he was like just kind of teeter tottering. It was hilarious. So, on eBay, I've sold um, the loose bags of that. Single servings or double servings of that. So that went. And what I always do is I always overweigh everything. I usually double the weight on it. Because what eBay does is um, they give you discount shipping. So if the shipping price is 30 bucks I charge 30 bucks say for example um, it'll cost me like 13 bucks to ship it so you know eBay tries to take some of that money but it doesn't matter because I got it figured out now so it sold for those few bags I had sold for 85 bucks and here's the breakdown so it totaled almost a hundred bucks and sales tax, of course. So eBay charged me thirteen sixty-five, and then I bought a shipping label through eBay, which was thirteen dollars. Which I think in this case, um, I don't remember what it was, but it was supposed to be like nineteen or something. So after that, that's what I end up with. I won't see that for a few days because it's got to clear and transfer back into my account. I mean, 71 bucks is better than an empty pocket, which I have now. So, yeah, they're, eBay's my last, um, last ditch effort to sell stuff. So, I've got six people watching this, and I don't know how, you know, I mean, I don't know how many boxes are going to take to ship this stuff. So, that, and something else I don't know whatever it was but what the heck was it now I gotta go look all right I found it um it was my electric unicycle I put on eBay so, I don't know. I bought a brand new. I rode it for a mile and a half, and it just sits there, and I just sit there, and whatever. Um, so, I, so this is on there, and I put shipping down a fixed price shipping of 150 uh, And I put a mention in there that says, if the shipping is less than $150, i will refund you the difference. You know? So if shipping comes in like 80 bucks. Then I'll, I'll give them back some. Yeah, I might keep $10 for my time and boxing and packaging and all that and give them the rest and whatever. So, yeah. Because that's going to take two boxes at least. Or it may not even sell. I have no clue. So, I'm trying to save money, not blow it. You know, and I think times are even going to get tighter pretty soon, but um, the two boxes I had over here, my steamer and my carpet cleaner, going bye-bye. Because they were $250 that I put on my Affirm card, and I'm like, you know something? I changed my mind. So that's going to ditch ditch a payment for me so that'll be going back so tomorrow UPS will be picking up all packages are going to be flying out of here tomorrow I got the steamer then the other one and then those those loosely held ones just trying to cut everything down cut the cost down I hung on to these though these cleaning rags because you can always use them. You know what I mean? They're, they weren't that much, like six bucks. Why even bother sending them back? But I did hear from that Korean company or Shish, Shishwan company or whoever they are. 
Um, they're sending me out um, one of these, similar to this. So I get to test that out. And I'll probably flatten a tire or something and see how fast it pumps up. Or, you know, I was going to try to be a ball breaker and blow up an inflatable love doll. But, yeah, I don't think that'd be funny. But, no, I'll just do like a tire to show how fast it inflates a tire and something stupid, you know. They're sending me a few things. And I told them, says, send me whatever you want because I get to keep it. So I'll take it. And uh, then when I get some time, I've got the spare tire now right there for this car, but i got no place to put it. So I'm going to end up relocating my secondary air horn, train air horn tank, which is right down there behind the passenger seat. I'm going to have to move that back here in the back somewhere. And get my spare tire in there, and this way I got one. But I forgot to get a jack. I didn't come with a jack, so next time I go to the junkyard, I gotta get a jack or something. It's too bad that they didn't make, and I've been looking for them, a small airbags. You know, like these are the big lift airbags. I mean, they're 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 huge and they're heavy. It's like too bad they didn't make one like smaller. That'd be cool for like little jobs you can use on your lawnmower and whatnot. But, yeah, that's about it, what's going on, so, anyways, got a leak in my roof in the house, my wife saw that, she goes, did you see that spot, and I said, where, she's like, right on the, right on the edge of the house, and I said, it's about this far in from the wall, and I said, well, my solar panels run down the side, but. My solar panels are, like, sure, this is the edge of the house here. Then the spot is, like, here. And I said, well, my solar panels don't start till over here. I said, I can walk down the edge of the house. There's about a foot there. I kept them a foot away from the edge. So, I don't know. I got to get up there and take a look. It's nothing big. There's, like, a little brown spot on the ceiling. So, I got to see what the heck's up with that. Probably find something. I don't know. But uh, that's about it. So, other than that, nothing's going on. But made spaghetti tonight. The dogs loved it. You know, of course, they like anything. Wifey's car is all nice, nice put away. She got mad at me. She goes, I got a car. I can't even drive it. You won't even let me drive my own car. I said, I didn't say that. I said, you're not taking it out on crappy days. I said, nice sunny time days. Go ahead and take it for a ride. You know, I just don't want it covered with mud and snow and crap. That's what this car is for. <sighs> never happy, never, never happy. So that's about it. That's the only thing going on. And... The world is still going freaking crazy. And then they blocked Elon Musk X over in some other country. And holy crap, if you've been watching the news, what in the hell? You know? Yeah, we're getting close to end times. I've been seeing a lot of that online. Um, it says something in the year... Now, this sounds different, but in the year 5785 is when supposedly Jesus' return. Now, that's the different calendar. It translates actually to 2025. So, yeah. But... Yeah, there's a thing on it. Just type that in on, the, on your computer. Um, World Prophecy 5725, or I'll put a link to it in the description. Because at first, I'm listening to this guy talking. I'm like, he ain't making any sense. I said, what the hell is he talking about? 57, that's, that's 3,000 some odd years from now. I said, the, the end of the time is coming sooner than that. You know? And then this other guy was saying... And, and like I say, I don't believe everything I hear. 
one guy says that he met God and he was talking to him. And God says, it doesn't matter if you go to church or use the Bible or any of that. It's what kind of a person you are. Um, and then in my head, I'm slamming the brakes. I'm going, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, wait a minute here. I said, this doesn't sound right, you know. But, yeah. What is wrong with you? You're goof today. Buggy face. So, it, it, wow. Jumped right up here. Hi, buddy. He's been a good, he's been a good boy today. Yeah, don't pee on me. He gets too happy. So he does that snorting stuff, and he sounds like he's choking. And if your dog does that, does that like that, put your hand over their nose and just hold it there for a minute. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Gosh, you're crazy today. No more spaghetti for you. Yeah, no more spaghetti for you, shark face. There's shark face under there. You shark face? You sharky shark? What are you looking for? Yeah, you see you're looking down to see if you peed on yourself. No pee pee? You didn't do no pee pees? No? You did, did you did, did you did, stop? Did did you pee pee outside? Did you do your pee? Stop. Did you do your, did you did you do your poopies outside? Yeah. Wound up tighter than a spring. Get out of here, you nut bag. <sighs> what? Bouncy bounce? Yeah. Bouncy go. Uh, anyways, I'll put a link in the description. Go run. About that year. Oh, look at this. Look at this goof. <laughs> He slams the brakes on. What are you doing? Oh my God, that puffball's gotten huge. Holy crap. Look at the size of that. Looks like a softball back here. I put, the so I put these online if anybody wanted them. Puffballs, people eat them. Oh, look how big that is. It's kind of split though. Yeah, it's just split. That one's got a slug on it. Oh, it's got holes in it. Wow, look how big that is. Yeah, this is gonna end up dying. I didn't get it. See, this one's already pancaking. So this one's getting. Well, no, it's not. I don't know what those holes are. Let's see, there's a slug on it. Get up there. Yeah, some lady wanted it, and then she never got back to me. I'm like, well, screw you. You know what I'm going to do is, maybe I'll rake this area out. And once these dry out, it's going to release the spores. And I'll have a crap load of puffballs back here. Yeah, I guess people like them. So, I got to cut this up yet, throw it up into the fence line. It's apple tree. Somebody probably really wants this wood, you know. That came out of the tree out front. What are you doing, poopers? Come here, boop. Do you want an apple? I think they're all crap now, buddy. Oh, here's one. Here's a good one. Apple? Ready? There it goes. There's Junior barking inside now. Where's your apple? Where's your apple? Where'd it go? Where's your apple? Huh? Is that it? Is that it? Is there it is? You got it. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go inside. Him and Junior, you stupid apples. All right, everybody, I'll catch you later. And uh, yeah, that whatever year that was, I'll put it in the description. Catch you later. Have a good one.